Welcome to Special Data Hub. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can manipulate vectors, split, merge, extend, and so much more. So you can check the description for exact timings if you want to skip. Otherwise, this will be a great video to learn from. So for this video, we'll be working on different. We'll be working with different tools. We'll need our layers panel, so check this box. We'll need um, advanced digitizing toolbar. We'll need digitizing to We'll need um, selection, we need snapping, and we need the selection toolbar. So check all those tools so that you won't have a hard time finding them. So on my layer here, I have one polygon layer and one line layer. I'm working mostly with the line layer, but it mostly applies to polygons as well. So here, the first we'll do is to add a new feature. Let's say you already have a line, feature, line layer here, I want to add a new feature. Let's do this, save. Okay. So to add any feature, you click on the layer and then toggle editing. So some of the other tools get active and then you can click on the add line feature. It will be add polygon feature if you are working with polygon and add point feature if you are working with a point. So to add a line feature, you can just click 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 and when you're done right click that's all so that's for that if you want to merge features okay let's make a new feature here that could be merged when you're done right click now let's click on our selection tool if you want to merge features when you click on this you see it's one feature and click on this is a different feature so let's say we want to have these two features as a single feature so when you click on one hold down shift and click on the other that's when you're using a windows system a windows pc or you click outside first of all you have to click on the layer to be sure that you are on it otherwise your selection tool will not work you click outside and select now here's another thing on your selection toolbar click on the drop down here click on select features not select by polygon or freehand or you can use freehand so that will mean you're drawing it around but select features you click hold down control and click now if we want to merge features so we've clicked both features we go to our merge merge selected features and you'll see it will if i have attributes several attributes for each feature it will show here and if i'm to change the name of each feature of the new feature change the setting attributes it randomly selects attributes so you can modify them and then click on ok when you are cool so now this becomes a single feature so if we want to split features, let's now go back to where we started from. Let's split it from this point. If you want to split features, you click on the feature which you want to split. And then we go to back to our advanced digitizing toolbar and split parts, split features, not split parts, please. Then one thing you should take note of is your snapping. What snapping does for you is that it identifies nodes so that when clicking, you click exactly on the node. When you are splitting features, you are splitting features along each node. So enable your snapping, enable your snapping. If you try it and it doesn't work, then change this from pixels to degrees or meters, depending on the units of your layer. Mine is in degrees. That's why it's showing here in degrees. If you're using it, you need a layer in meters depending on the coordinate reference system of a layer then it always affects it too so we've clicked on split part right now go to the node which you want to change which you want to split along and click on split now they become two distinct features if you go back to our selection tool we click on this as one feature and click on this as another feature 
So that's for splitting features. If we want to extend this feature beyond its current length, let's say we have a road that it doesn't get to the point of the end of the road. I want to extend the feature. Now we have, we've clicked on the feature already, right? Now go back to your, okay, that's for move. That's for reshape features. Remember, turn on your snapping as well. Click on the node where you want to extend. Click, just like you're drawing a new feature. And when you're done, right click, that's all. So to move features, if you've drawn a feature and probably you check on your Google Maps and you see that it's not exactly the way you expected it and you want to move these features, don't delete them, move it. So we've clicked on them, right? Click, they are selected. So we'll go back to move, click on the drop down. You see move features, you see copy and move. Let's do copy and move because that's a little more detailed. When you click on it, you shift. And click. That's all. So, oh, I mistakenly clicked on it again. When you're done with it, you right click to end with, end the um, session. So that's it. Then to shift the node, to shift the node, let's say this node, it's maybe you want to extend it and it's just this node you want to extend, or you want to shift this node a little back inside within the layer, within the feature. You can go here, vertex tool, under the digitizing toolbar, click on vertex. You can do all layers or anyone, anyone works fine. And go to this, click on it, shift it, and it shifts. You can go to this, click on it, shift it, and it shifts. That's it. So I hope you learned something new this time. This is how to edit. In my next video, I'll show you how to create layers, J package, shape files, and more. I'll be working on a series where I'll discuss all of these tools in the toolbar so that if you are just getting started with QGIS, you won't miss out. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.